Hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. They call me Mitchell and this is your energy forecast and intuitive message for today, Tuesday, January the 19th, 2016. And as always, thank you so much for taking time to retweet, post, subscribe, watch the video, become a fan, share, support me on patreon.com, check out below on that, and even go to my website, intuitivemitchell.com, where all my social media things are there. You can see my webinar coming up this Sunday night. You can see my Vicasa in-person Orlando Mind Body Expo event coming up on February 6th and 7th there. Um, what else? And the Ghetto Terror Spread, which is a special. So all that's there. So today, the message is this. I don't have like a perfect time frame, but probably within the first 30 to 60 minutes of you waking up, you are setting the tone for the day, for the rest of the day. And at that time, you know, if, if you wake up and you stub your toe and you immediately become angry and then something else happens, you just, it becomes a spiral. You know, if you wake up and when your feet hit the ground, you just say this beautiful prayer of thankfulness and gratefulness and gratitude, you're setting the tone. Now, the, the important thing is, A, to be aware that you're setting the tone. Two, to be so aware that if all of a sudden something you do wake up and you step in a puddle of, you know, your cat piss <laughs> that, that didn't make it into the litter box last night. You go, you know what? It's okay. It's okay. An opportunity to, to clean something up. You know, catch yourself before that triggers. And if it does trigger you and you cuss and scream and yell and then you yell at your partner and, you know, then pause and say, let me reel this back in before it gets out of hand. Take a breath, come back to a center place, and be grateful for the things you have. Because I tell you, I've seen it time and time again in myself. I've seen it time and time again in other people. You set the tone. I know Louise Hay used to say, before her feet even hit the ground, she said a prayer of gratitude. She said something in a positive, high vibrational way to set the tone of her, her day. So, set the tone. Choose your words, choose your thoughts, everything wisely each morning when you wake up. If you had a horrible night's sleep, that's a tough one. But realize you get to go to bed that night. <laughs> you get to sleep eventually. So there's your message for today. Let's look at some cards and numbers for today. Today is the 19th day. All the numbers add up to a number two, which is the feminine aspect. You know, it's very um, uh, kind of... Uh, what I'm trying to say, unity, harmony, you know, cooperative, very receptive. The normal to go along with that is the sun card, which is 31, which is number four. So it's another feminine number, but the sun is a very masculine energy. It's dynamic. It's powerful. You know, it's, it's got positivity all around it for, from Lenormand. Success, victory, heat, you know, competence. Um, Terror to go along with the sun is the king of swords. So this is really powerful. So for you air element people or those air element people in your life. Success today. Powerful stuff going on today. So look for those Aquarius, Libra, Gemini people or if you are one, positive, powerful, successful day for you today. So tomorrow is the 20th day and all the numbers add up to three. Three is a very um, optimistic, playful, it's a creative kind of a thing. You know, you know, two come to what Two singles come together and be a two and create a third, so there's that creativeness. It's also a place of speaking your truth and imagination. The norm to go along with that energy is number three. I love it. Ship, which is about travel, which is about movement. This can be a vehicle of any kind, taking you and moving you forward. Tarot to go along with it is seven of cups. Um, I love it because just this morning, Fabian, who is an air element, was a very positive person. We're talking about travel, and we're talking about all the options we have, because Seven of Cups is lots of options. And I sent him like four things, and I said, look at these four places to go for vacation this year. So that's how I put this together in interpretation. Now for you, this is where you got to look at and see your opportunities for movement, for travel, for change of location, change of job, anything, a change of home, apartment. You've got lots of options. And again, with that number three energy, it's creative. You know, play with it. Use your imagination. You know, don't limit yourself to just things today, especially with this three energy. So there's your message. So thank you, as always. I truly appreciate it. And um, I'm going to say this out loud. I'm ready for these videos and the work that I do to take on the world. 
I'm ready for it to be more global and be more vast. You know, it's something that I've always set an intention. I don't say it out loud a lot because it does sometimes sound prideful and, and pious to me, but I realize I need to speak those things and make those true for me as well. So I'm ready to see this YouTube channel, you know, get to 100,000 subscribers. I'm ready to see my work, you know, take me so busy, you know, that I do have to consider leaving my corporate day job. Right now, I, I love it and I do this work nights and weekends and it's a great match, but um, as the nights and weekends get more full, then it will push me to consider shifting and changing and moving, like the card said today, with lots of opportunities. So, very excited about that. Going to be getting my hypnosis stuff up soon, just doing a few online regressions with people. So, I've had some in home, and I've had some online. And then I'll be able to fully open that site and that um, you know line of work and uh, start moving there because I'm very excited about that. So group regressions online, group regressions webinar, group regressions in Kissimmee. Um, very excited. So all right, check check it out. Talk to you later. Namaste. Bye bye.